Guys, now there's a lot of fake stuff in the world and a lot of uncertainty in this cosmos and especially Earth. Why? I don't know. But because of the uncertainty, are the Clippers going to equalise against the Mavericks tonight and not go out disgracefully like the Lakers did? Quite frankly, I don't know. But here is what I've got to do for, for you all, all my fans for today. Even though all of you, I don't know. But just hear me out here. This is going to be a meditation about the uncertainties and about what we don't know. So sit back, grab a glass of wine if that's your thing, or yaba mate, yaba mate is my thing. Yaba mate. It's like energy, but it is a. Uh, it doesn't give you a hangover, but it gives you a lot of energy. South American drink. Where did I get this idea to drink this? South American rare drink. As we start the meditation, is. I don't know. Why is Hershey sitting there licking her doggy pussy? Did another dog get into her today? Well, she went off in the woods with another dog, you know. When I was out today. And why are you doing that, Hershey? Well, all I can say is... I don't know. Why is this music on at the moment and I am speaking to a phone with nobody in the room trying to make sense of what I'm doing is fuck I don't know why I mean why are there so many fake stories in the world and why is Donald Trump being decimated by the fake news media and did Donald Trump actually lose the election the bottom line is to this you must take it all in now, is, I don't know. Why? There's always a why, there's always a why. Why is there always a why? The question is, I don't know. I got up this morning and I had a hard fucking dick and a dry mouth I was like well, what the fuck what uh what yo matter of fact is I don't know hmm why does certain people on YouTube speak so much shit for over 300 hours and people keep coming back to listen to this particular individual called Mr. Milky until somebody kills himself or drinks a wasker every two hours and ends up in the mental institution. The reason and answer to that is I don't fucking know. Oh yeah. Was that me? 
I was at someone else a couple of weeks back that got a gun and a knife out and said, I'm going to kill that certain individual. How come that happened? How? how? Is, quite frankly, I don't know. You know, my dad had a sack of balls. And really, when you think about it in a different way, he don't have any balls. So the question of that is, I don't fucking know. But the thing is, his fucking balls, his dirty, hairy, fucking reptilian balls got into my mum's vagina somehow, some way. And a big accident came out nine months later. And that question keeps bothering me. And the answer to that is, I really don't fucking know. I really don't fucking know. Why? Why? Fuck why? I've already covered why. Because why? What? I don't know. So, as we get along with this meditation, you just pick up a drink. You pick up some weed. You maybe do a bit of mushrooms and ecstasy and coke. And then before you know it, you're doing it all the fucking time. And, uh, you change, right? You look differently, and you might, you might, uh, have done harm to someone, or harmed yourself, or, you know, everything in the external world looks fucked up. And you've, you've lost your mind. The honest answer to that is, I don't know. Why, oh why, I don't know. So fuck you, why? A woman got raped and then she got raped again and she got raped again and again and again. Because she was working for a pimp on the streets. And then she gets killed. The question to that is, I really don't fucking know. Why, oh why? I hate that word. See, why do you look at graveyards and there's, you, you sense that there's living creatures there? There's living creatures there. And why aren't they popping up like ghosts like they fucking say they do in these mystical fucking books and these paranormal fucking documentaries and shit like that? You see, you know what I'm saying. You go into these fucking graveyards to mourn. You try, you're trying to get close to close to your loved ones or whatever. Why ain't they coming up and uh, parlaying with you and you know having a drink with you and you know and just chilling? That's what you go to the graveyard for. So why do people go to the graveyard when they can't see fuck all? They can't see, can't see the dead ones because the all it is is a fucking stone with engraved fucking writing on it. I don't know. A bat 
can cause a global pandemic if it has sex with another animal. Or there could be another way that the pandemic came. Industrialization from labs. People trying to build things to accomplish something. So, so how did this happen? We wear masks. And supposedly people have died. I don't, you know, am I sorry? The question is, am I sorry? I don't fucking know. Say, I was hallucinating. Maybe off magic mushrooms or maybe just because I'm fucked in the head, one way or the other. I was at McDonald's. I blacked out, it was about half past ten at night. Three women laying with their necks slit in the kitchen and about eight customers all dead spewed across the table with their mac nuggets and barbecue sauces and all the fucking salt flying everywhere. It just the place looks a mess. I wake up and I'm like, what the fuck happened? I'm trying to make sense of this shit. I don't know. What? I just picked up this cup <coughs> and I just coughed. Can I explain this? I don't know. Things fucking change, don't they? Quite rapidly. And that comes to the question of them all. Is there free will? I don't know! I raised my voice then. What the fuck? I raised my voice. The answer to that question is... I don't know. How come there are certain toxins in this world that can make you obese why is there McDonald's why is the KFC why do we eat it and love every fucking second of it and then years later we wonder why we're so fucking fat and we wonder why we're waddling like Mr Waddle waddling through life Farting away wherever we go. I don't know. How come the natural plants on this earth, people take them and think that they've got the whole life figured out? It could be, say, uh, psychedelic maybe DMT or LSD or magic mushroom the fact of the matter is I was swimming in the clouds I was in the garden and I was rapping and I saw Tupac and he was like yo man you're the great man I'm going to sign you I actually thought that why? What, what? What? Getting into me? I don't know.
You make a plan to go to Liverpool or York for a day out with the kids or the family, with the dog. See the ducks, go on the merry-go-round. And then you end up going somewhere else and then getting caught in traffic and saying, fuck it. Shit happens. And the answer to that is, I don't know. Some people have said that they have taken something, like getting back to a psychedelic, and rescued Luke Skywalker from his bunker. in Tatooine and was actually there really there with Luke Skywalker when he, he destroyed the Death Star in the first Star Wars movie how come someone thought that or experienced that when they were just sitting on a fucking on the couch in so called Earth I don't know Serious, serious. Why do bad things happen to good people? Well, you can't be 100% good or 100% bad in this life anyway. So that probably is an answer to that, kind of an answer to that one. But the concrete answer is, I really don't fucking know. Why have we only got five hands, some people have no hands and I just said hands, I didn't say fingers why I said that, I don't know what I'm saying is, why have we got five fingers and five toes a dick, balls that can create another fucked up species to come into this world and do f more fucked up things I don't know. Why do he have the desire to fuck a certain girl and then leave it? And if a kid comes along, it's not mine. Why do people do that? The question is, I don't know. <clears throat> Why do things change? See, one day you think you got your life all is going great. Like everything seems to be going great. Not perfect, obviously, because nothing ever can be perfect. But you know, stable. And then someone from maybe your so-called past shows up and reminds you of your past and invades your privacy and ends up staying at a certain place that you were staying at and forces you to go away. And then you start using drugs again. Kind of similar to me. The real answer to that is, I don't know. Is there such thing as Earth? That's a good question, that. Depending on what language you speak, then... I don't know. Because people have different languages to describe like people say this thing that we're on in, in the fucking cosmos that keeps going around the sun is a certain name is I don't know and why do you say it's flat 
and clearly if you go for go up to a mountain and go 360 degrees you'll see it's circle well that's just another word so how do you explain that I don't know why can we sit here in a nice place just watching telly or there's no threat whatsoever and uh, itches uncomfortable uh, sensations in your body or a bunch of spiders are having a meeting in your head like people having meetings in your head saying go this way go that way do this do this do that do this that or so many fucking questions do I got what I got to do overthinking mind overdrive concrete reality to that is I don't know I'm just putting this phone down I don't why I don't know enjoying this meditation I hope it relaxes you if it doesn't then the answer for me is I don't know is there such thing as enlightenment That's a big one for me. Well, who's me? Because in enlightenment, isn't there supposed to be no self? Not no you. You're supposed to be connected to everything. What? Why? Fuck why? Is there such thing as enlightenment? It's like saying, is there such thing as life after death? Well, there is, just listen to Notorious Big's album, and then there is such thing as life after death. But, you know what I'm saying? Is there enlightenment? Is there life after death? Is there some supernatural states that we can get into where we can do supernatural things like fucking Captain America for... Uh, Iron Man, Superman, Batman, Twatman, Gatman, the bad man with the Gatman, you know, shit like that. Probably be a new, new uh, superhero. Question is, I don't know. How come Eminem talked about killing his spouse on various records and his own mother, but now he's okay with him? Was he always okay with his Kim and his mother? Just think about it. Let's take it in. Think about all that Eminem went through. Try to try to get into Eminem's core of when he first came out and started talking about his mum and wanting to cut her head off and talking about Kim and killing her in front of Haley. And then he apologizes and he lives a nice life with both of them now. Just try and get into the core of that. I'll give you I'll give you a couple of seconds to really think about that one.
Was it Slim Shady? Not Marshall Mathers. That's the question. And the fact of the matter is, there's only one answer. I don't know why oh why I don't know fuck why anyway how come I'm making this video I've got something better to do think about that one for a second let it sink in I kind of hit my therapy type, type shit. Man. I'm talking into this phone. Or if you're an enlightened being, there's no me and there's no phone. There's just the existence of this 3D creature and this 3D phone. And all this, and the big television, and noises, and uh, whatever you see. Is that, tr is that the truth of life? Is there a truth to life? It, can you ever get to a concrete truth? No matter how much meditation or... You Advanced yoga, tantric fucking sex, fucking sadomasochistic sex, serial killing, fucking all that fucking crazy shit. Because you're trying to get to the truth. Because the, the, there's a di diversity between God and the devil, and all uh, and all this other shit. Is is you're going around in a hamster wheel? Thinking that you you know the truth. For me, the question is: Is there any truth to anything? The fact of the matter is, I really don't know. Did Jesus die on the cross? Or was it just a story in the Bible? Maybe made up 200 years ago. Who, who the fuck knows? Or maybe someone else was on the cross, but he didn't call himself Jesus, called himself something else. Why is there an idea that there's a God? Did the Buddha really do what the Buddha really did? Whatever pr fucked up practices Shiva did, or Allah, or wh whoever religion, wh why, 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 why is all this? How, how can we? No, because the answer to that for me is I don't know. I picked up this uh, CBD. Just smoke, smoke, smoke and let it in. Feel it inside every cell of your body. Question is, an idea, do we have a body? Do we really exist? Or do we exist and every thought is real? Or no thoughts are real, no feelings are real, or vice versa, they're all real. 
the question is the concrete answer to that one is I don't fucking know and why did I speak in that way when it's supposed to be a meditation oh, sorry I don't even know why I said I was sorry but I don't know <laughs>